basically, if you're an app, you sometimes want to. Uh, hang on. This is a video that should be playing. Shouldn't yeah. It? Oh, this is the flag thing. Is uh, yeah. we need to interact yeah. with the thing yeah. once. My bad, folks. Um, Not my fault for once. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. Look at that. So in the last episode, we were looking at features that were released in 2019 in and stable Chrome, like web platform features. And in this episode, we're doing the exact same thing. Yes, but with four different features to the previous episode. Yeah, because episode. Intel stuff, which is Three APIs in one yeah. made to the semifinals. It, yeah, maybe cheating, yeah. but maybe. They're, they're sort of roughly the same. Um, and yeah, it, it's time. It's time for the next round. I I think we should we should keep the symmetry, and now you have to pick first. Oh oh, see so re reflectional R symmetry. Yeah. Uh, okay okay okay. Um, I am going to pick image, image. aspect ratio. Well, that's a good one, isn't it? It is a good one. Boom. Why don't you tell us about it a bit, oh, Jake? I absolutely shall tell you about it a bit. Uh, in fact, maybe Although even a lot. Although it probably does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Well, I think there's, there's, you, you could question what the tin actually says. Um, and I will tell you. I will <laughs> tell you exactly what the tin says. This. We've all written stuff like this before where you have an image inside a thing, right? Yeah, you with me? Yes. OK, mm, good. Yeah. Um, the div has a width. And we're saying the image is 100% of so the width. So it is also 400 pixels because it is inside that div. Yes. Now, I know CSS. Traditionally on the web, until very, very recently, this, mm -hmm. is, a, this is a very new feature. On the web, what would happen is you would, your content would appear, and then the image would load. And, and put, yeah. Whoop, Bad. Sad times. Layout instability because it would wait for the, uh, the, the image metadata to load before it knew how to lay it out. Time for the aspect ratio hack. And yes, and ah, this horrible thing where you put a position, uh, well, you, yeah, you put a padding top with before, the ratio. Well, I always use the before things. Oh, the pseudo set elements. Them. Right, on to top. set heights. Yeah, yeah, OK. And then you use position absolute to put the thing over the top, blah, blah, blah. Horrible, horrible hack. Yes, but if you horrible. want layout stability, it's what you had to do. But no longer. <gasps> now if you do this, like, the key here really is that the, the height auto. Explicitly set to auto. Yes. Yes. It okay. will take the width and the height that are set here, and it will use that to determine oh, the that's initial amazing. aspect ratio. So even though it will not be 800 pixels wide, because it will obviously be 400 pixels yeah. wide, the browser will use these values to calculate the aspect ratio, and then yes. I mean, I could have just put eight and six here because whatever, right? You, you don't. You, it, it doesn't matter so much if you lie about the content, but as long as it makes the correct aspect ratio, what will happen now? is the content will appear, and then the image will appear. You don't have to do any of these hacks. Amazing. Just that. So this is in Firefox and Chrome this year. It landed in Firefox first. We should make sure to you know, acknowledge that. Yeah, um, all it, of them. Yeah. Um, but it's, yeah, it's just landed, just landed for us. Like in, it's a December feature. Uh, there you go. So uh, what are you going to what am, what is going that with? So we have, let's take this. Blob reading. Blob reading. Excellent. Perfect. Um, so are you going to tell us? Tell I'm going to tell you a bit about blob reading. Looking forward to it. Although once again, it is what it says on the title. Yeah. So you can get blobs in very many ways. One very typical use case is that if you have an input element type file, once you select something, you will get a blob or actually a file, which is just a subclass of blob from that input field. Yes. Now, in the olden days, to get the contents of that file, uh. you would have to use the file reader API, which didn't know about promises and was kind of backwards in general. It was bad. And you would have to have a separate callback for the error, and you'd have yeah, to it was, uh, 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 horrible, horrible. So yeah, one, hate it. one workaround was yes. that the response constructor actually takes files and blobs, and they have the really nice text or array buffer methods that just give you a promise for that file in that format, which was really convenient. We, and we use this in Squoosh quite we, a lot. We do. Yeah. And now we can simplify it even more because the blob people were like, huh, that's nice. Let's, let's, let's just add these methods directly. Nice. So it's, you can see we saved like 12 bytes. 
So this is really a high impact feature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, they also can uh, do streams, which actually, oh no, so yeah, responses are already streams, but um, array buffers is also there. I don't think JSON is on a blob. But only on a no, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Jason is not on there. Uh, so if you want Jason, you still have to go back as to a text. Well, you get it as a text and then get it as a, I guess. a Jason pause. Um, That's interesting. But yeah, but yeah. I do like, even though it's like not a massive impact, it's just so much less mental overhead to keep in your decision. Oh, it's just a blob. I can just turn it into a text. I, well, the thing I like about it is that it, although we had a, a relatively simple way of doing it, it was recognized that this is a gap and a pattern. And, and actually, so. I think probably all, I, w I would assume. Hashtag, I'm not a browser engineer, but that this was a fairly low effort addition for most browsers. But it, it just makes things cleaner. Because if, yeah. if you're new to the web and you were told about the other hack, people would be like, why, why, why is it like why, this? Why 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 why, 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 why? Well, now it's not. It's nice and simple, and it works. <laughs> but <laughs> fine, let's move on. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it, that's, yeah. There's, there's, yeah. That's just so useful. Moving so, on. OK, OK, OK. This is me again, isn't maybe it? Maybe I'll get one feature. In You've been really unlucky so far. <laughs> but maybe this time, this is images in the clipboard. Images in the clipboard. Okay. Boom, for Jake. Excellent. Going up against. Well, no. Give me, give oh, sorry. Chill. I forgot. Chill. I just want to see if chill. I will have a. <laughs> go on, do you want to? Go on. Go oh, on, just uh, break, break the system. Go on. I'm interested. Sharing against sharing. Fair enough. OK. All right. um, Do your slides, mate. All right, all right, all right. So this is images in clipboard, right? With <laughs> <laughs> done. Done. So thank you. <laughs> Do you need to know more? So this is uh, you fetch an image, you yeah. turn it into a blob. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, as we did before. But now I can write it to the clipboard. This is something uh, that requires permission from the user to be able to right. change their clipboard okay. stuff. Um, and, and it needs to be coming from a user interaction as well. Um, so NativeF has been able to do this for a while. When you press you know, copy in Photoshop or whatever, it would actually put the image in the clipboard. But on yes. the web, you were not able to put, you could only put text in the yes. clipboard. Yes. Unless you uh, use like Flash plugins or something weird. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So this is this is no way around that. You can you provide a type and provide uh, the, the blob there, and it will put that and in the And this is quite clipboard. interesting, because you actually provide a map from the type to the content. I mean, you can, like, that's for same content in different formats? Yeah, yeah, because the <laughs> clipboards are complicated, right? Yeah. So yeah. You, you can provide the same thing in multiple formats. And that is one of the things that will happen when you copy something in Photoshop, right? True. It will like, copy it in ways Photoshop understands with the extra stuff. True. And then it will also just give you the bit. Right, well. so if you copy, like, multiple layers, it will keep a format that has multiple layers, but externally also a version that's just a flattened bitmap that yes. you can paste into Paint yes. or whatever. Now, th there is an interesting detail here that is the browser will provide, um, like, it will sanitize what you uh, do, what, like the image you provide here. Oh, really? Uh, yes, because there are uh, sort of hacks you can do where, like, certain kinds of image compression, you can create, like, a, a bomb. Oh, like PNG can, decom yeah. can be quite small, but decompressed to a massive bitmap. To, to massive things. So, sanitization happens here. OK. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, the other side of it is getting uh, images from the clipboard. So right. again, user permission, uh, user gesture. But here, I'm going through all of the items in the clipboard. And you know, for image types, you can now get them. Good. Um, again, sanitization happens. Um, and this is just to okay. stop things like uh, EXIF data leaking out that you might not expect from the web. OK. There is another proposal which will Oh, by the way, sometimes I might like, want to have that, right? Like maybe I'm an app that wants the EXIF data. Yes, and so there is um, proposals for raw clipboard access, like to get other kinds of formats I see. and other things as well. So that means you actually have to opt in that you are now taking over the responsibility for the resilience to weird data yeah. and whatnot. That okay. part. So th this part has landed. Has landed. The other part is still in discussion. I see. And uh, and that is it. So over to you with sharing. over to me with the sharing. Yeah. So sharing is. Also a a twofold, oh, a, two, a two, two for, for one, one, if you'd like. Yes. Okay, so sharing. Okay, so sharing. You know, you're a website and you shop for a thing, and you think, oh, you know what? I actually want to tweet about the thing that I found, and that is now possible with the Web Share API, where you can actually 
tap into all the other apps that are available by triggering this kind of. Instance. So that was triggering like the, the Android built-in yes. sharing system. Right, 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 and right, right. And iOS okay. has, has the same kind of a similar system where you can say, hey, I want I have this piece of data, I want to give it to another app, which apps can take it. Gotcha. And this is basically something that sits on Navigator and you just say, hey, I want to share this. And here is a bit of text, and you can even put files in it, and then from there on, basically, the user flow takes over. Interesting. So I think like we've been able to, uh, is the sharing thing this year? But I th no, I, I think, think the share itself has been around for a while, but now we can actually share images. And Right. Excellent. OK, right. So you can, so the, you can now I share think, an image I to Twitter or something. And correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, I think the operating system actually expect, inspects the MIME types of the files, and through that decides which apps can actually handle yes. which Yes, that is, typically, yeah, that, that is exactly how it works. Um, so this is the use case where you are an app and you want to share to another. But what if you want to declare that you can actually receive these kind of ah, share operations? We that, did an episode on this we at did. some point. And so this is basically the, the TLDR, because we are in the native Photos app, Android Photos app. And we can see that Squoosh is actually in the list of apps that can handle it. So what you see here, we just shared from a native app to an installed web app, a PWA. Excellent. Yes. And this is exactly the case we did in, in a whole episode about this. Yes. This is... Because for us, it's a major use case in Squoosh that we actually are now in the draw. Like you're in any app, and you're like, this image, I like it, but I want to compress it or crop it or whatever. And you can just use Squoosh. Brilliant. And that is uh, done by declaring yourself as a shared target in the manifest, right. uh, where you say, you know, if, I ever, if you ever have a share to your operating system, please post it to me on this endpoint, and I accept files of this MIME type. I accept other files of other types. You all declared in there. The operating system knows which endpoint to so, target. So this is PWA only, right? It's yes, only you need installed. to be installed. Right, like right, You right. can't just visit a site. That alone won't make you appear in the drawer. Only installed apps will actually have the privilege. So, so these features together, it means you can share from a web uh, property to a, to a native uh, app via yeah. the standard operating system way, yeah. but you can also do it from a native app to a, a, a website. But it also means you can do it from two web pieces. You can ways. go from web to web. You can share from right. from Squoosh to the Twitter web app, or vice versa. Okay, that works. Um, and so once you've done this, just to to complete this. So the the other part of this is how you would catch this this post in your service worker yeah. to make it all work offline. But we don't need to cover that here. No. We've done a whole episode on it. Yeah, did we I should, mention? We did should I mention link the episode to that in in the description. All right, all right, all right, all right. Cool. So that leaves us with a, uh, it, will I will I now for the first time win a round because I think I will. I I think I think you've won this one. I mean, images in clipboard is yeah is cool, but it is also definitely more niche. I than I, I think it's straight up like the the sharing thing. Like when I when we did that thing with Squoosh where we were able to share from Google Photos straight into Squoosh, S that was like wow, such this, a new capability. Yeah, this this is the a web app feeling as native as I've ever seen it. Yeah, uh, I agree. Go on, give yourself, give yourself the win. Boom. There we go. Sharing will advance to the next round, meaning that we have oh. the aspect of sharing versus image, image aspect ratio. Two aspects there. So this is a difficult one because it, we, we hit against, and we had this problem last year when we were looking yeah. at features, is we end up with quite um, a sort of a large feature that you use in a maybe a few places versus something that a problem you hit all of the time. It's it's like a low level powerful capability versus mm. a high level very simple but incredibly impactful and effective <sighs> attribute almost. Yeah. This is so like like I said when I first especially sharing from native to web that yeah. that just that it blew my mind about how like that is like this is native. This is a native experience. People would use this without realizing they're on the web. Yeah. And the image aspect ratio thing, though, that there's every website I run into this. True. However, I would argue that the workaround for image aspect ratio is not horrible enough to outweigh the benefits of the new capability that is sharing. That's true. There is no workaround for the sharing thing. And so I would, I would argue that sharing should advance. Because I know the aspect ratio hack with yeah. the pseudo elements, whatever, is, is horrible, but it is also fairly doable and contained. It's a small piece of Shut arguments. up, I'm thinking. Oh, oh that, I, that rarely happens. Shut up. You don't, <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think.
Yeah, you're right. Sharing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sharing. Yeah, it's yeah, sharing. Yeah, okay. okay, fair enough. Boom. And that means we will now have. <laughs> oh, we can figure out our first a finalist. First finalist. Look at this. Because this was in the previous episode where we selected Intel stuff was Intel our stuff. first semi-finalist. We have found our second semi-finalist, which is sharing. So to summarize, the Intel stuff was ways of, of like moment JS. It's you know turning Amongst numbers. Other things. Uh, yeah, turning numbers into like fifteen seconds ago or like into strings in different languages in lists, five minutes. Into yep. strings in different languages, yes. units. Uh, I have definitely, I mean, even on the Chrome Dev Summit website, I messed up some of the the code it takes because I didn't want to include the whole of moment because I just had a little bit of yeah. time display and I did mess up the code quite spectacularly for that. Something like Intel would have solved that for me. It's not a bit of code I, I feel like I need often. No. But it would have saved me there. Then again, sharing also not that often. Not every, like if you're a PWA. Yeah. <sighs> and it is PWA only, the sharing. Well, OK, you know, sharing from a website to native. That, that would work that without being installed. Just receiving shares is for P installed PWAs. But then, like, if you're on a platform where it has a native sharing API, like that, that horrible set of icons you get for sharing to all of the other services that you yeah. see on new sites and the amount of code that that adds um, that Again, goes away with this. Here, I would argue that Intel stuff can be polyfilled in a way. Yeah, and there big, is like, big polyfill, though. I don't yeah. know if there are smaller ones. It can be big. It, I, I would yeah. argue that something could be small, depending on how many languages you want to support. That's true. If you are just supporting like a single language. But sharing is an actual capability that was impossible to do. Again, I'm going back to that, that feeling I had when I was able to share a, a photo straight into the into yeah. the app. And it's not just photos. It's any kind of files. Yeah. So you'll be able to take like the it raw, raw stuff. And if you because I know you've been messing around with like a, a raw image processor. Yeah. So you'd be able to, like, if you've taken raw images, which you now can with phones, yeah. you share that straight into it. Yeah, OK. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, do you I, agree? I'm not, I'm not, I, not yeah. It's, I, think, I think this is a really, really close one. But yes. So we I found reckon. our first finalist. And, you, and it's one of yours. So I you know. I, yeah, the reverse sweep. <laughs> I like it. All right. So in the next episode, we're going to whittle four more down to our other semi finalists. And, and then, 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 then we're going to find out. All right. Until the next episode, then. Over to you to, to tell us what that is from why. All right. We can cut out those gaps. It's fine, yeah. isn't it? I was, I was trying to keep it quiet so it's obvious that it needs cutting. But no, Jake has to talk over it and to actually have to make it explicit. So that Sorry. Cut. Is, 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 Action. Is Lucas going to edit this? Hi, Lucas. Hey. Hope, hope you're enjoying. Once again, doing four Christmas episodes on I'm short I'm notice. I'm going to keep this in my hand for continuity. <laughs> <laughs> Action! <laughs>